Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got an idea for another fidget upgrade. So let's get cracking. So, my friends, this is built in code blocks, and if you have not completed the first and the second lessons, I will have links up above so that you can get to those. So remember, friends, when you're building these, I always recommend a copy. I've built several as I was playing. I'm going to go back to my star fidget, and I'm going to duplicate that one so I don't wreck what I already built. Super quickly, I'm going to speed this up, and we hit play. You can see it draws, puts my initials, and then it does two rows of stars, which is pretty cool. But for our upgrade, we're going to learn how to quickly put letters down here on the bottom. But instead of using this cool code, we're going to use a little bit of brute force. So right now, let's throw that little guy out. Remember, this is a copy. And right now, I'm going to name it, and I'm going to call this one Word Star. All right, friends, so I'm going to slide this a little left so we have more room to see it. All right, friends, the system goes like this. Bring out the text tool, make it a hole, stretch it out. Instead of the word text right now, we're going to put a number, and then we're going to simply leave it. We're going to scale it to a size that is useful. I've done a little bit of testing, and I'm going to tell you the number that we're going to start with is 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and 0 0.25 which is awful close to 0 0.3. We are also going to stand it up, which means rotating it around X by 90 degrees. When you hit play, you'll see we have one letter sitting out here, but it is buried inside, so we're going to move it out. Our move is going to be super simple. We are just going to put a negative 13 on Y. Similar to what we did above, and we're only going to raise this one up 5, Real quickly, if we hit play, you can see our first number, or later we'll make these letters, will be right here. I'm going to change this to 6 instead. And it is important to get your idea lined up because it makes everything faster from here on out. Alright friends, we're going to put letters all the way around this, so let's bring out a rotate. We must change it to Z, and for this first one we're going to change it 0, but for the rest we will change it. We are going to drop math out here. But we're only going to put it in this one. Leave that one alone. Now we are going to duplicate. Let's make this a 2. And then we're going to change this 0 to a piece of math. I'm choosing 10 numbers. So I'm going to put a 1 out here. And we're going to multiply times 36 degrees for each one. 10 times 36 will be 360 degrees. So we go all the way around the circle. If we hit play now, we will have a 1 and a 2. If your 2 doesn't show up, you probably missed the Z. So now we're just going to right click and duplicate. Let's put a 3 out here. Make this a 2. And when you hit play, now you'll have 3 of the numbers, which will eventually be letters. Now you'll notice I'm not going to duplicate this one because it doesn't have the cool math. But I am going to duplicate this pair. If you scroll down, you can move to where you drop it. And this is where it gets kind of messy, is because there's so many pieces like this. But then you've got to just keep track. If that one was 2, then the next one is 3, and the next one is 4. I'm going to put different numbers in here. This will be 4, and this will be 5. And when we hit play you will see that it goes all the way around just like that. I'm going to use the zoom command so I can see this a little better. I'm going to find that number 2 and hit duplicate. And I'm going to set it as low as I can. Then I'm going to use the scroll bar to move down and put it below. And then once again, I'm going to change my numbers. That one was 5, so this one is 6, 7, 8, and 9. And then go back and find our math. Remember, this one was 2, 3, 4. So that means this one is 5 times, 6 times, and 7 times. And then the last one here will be 8. Let's hit play. And this is where you'll find out if you did one wrong, because they will line up in the wrong spot. I'm going to add another 9 because I don't want to do double digits. 
I'm gonna just leave it as a nine, or I'll put a period, something different. And then we're gonna do nine times 36 and hit play. And once again, it was brute force, but now we can put letters all the way around our project. When you've got yours working like this, you can go to the bottom and you can add your create group so that it cuts everything out. Just like that, a spinner with our initials, stars, and letters. All right, friends, so that wasn't the easiest. Like I said, it is brute force. We did some math that made it easy. If you wanted to have 12 letters, you could do times 30 for these. But once you've got this built and you've got it named like that, I want you to go back to Tinkercad so that you don't lose all your numbers. Now we can click on that and hit duplicate. And then in the duplicate, you can add the cool words that you really want to be on your spinner. Now watch how easy this part is. I'm gonna add the words, get crack into mine. Now one thing I figured out is capital letters turn out better. So right now I'm gonna do G E T. All right friends, so after the T we need to skip a spot. So I'm gonna break this out and I'm gonna break this out. This would be the spot after the G on get. We're gonna throw it away this is another reason why we have our separate project with all the words in it. And now we need to simply continue to add our capital letters. So we did get, so now it's going to be Kraken, C. I'm going to do an R. And you got to count your letters. I have figured out that I only get A. And then I'm going to do a K. I'm going to slide down with this slider because it's easier than the scroll wheel. There is my I. Once again, these are all shift and then we'll end with an N instead of a period. Let's hit play and see what we made. <laughs> you can check it out. I have got get cracking, but I messed up my K. Somehow I raised it up. Let's go look at where the K is. You can see that for its Z, I put an eight for some reason when I was typing. When I was trying to number things, apparently I skipped, but it's that easy to fix it. Get Kraken. Real quickly, I think I want a space between get and Kraken. So what I'm gonna do is get rid of the I. Break out my group, break out the old N, and take that I and make it an N. When I put it back together, we can hit play. And I like that better. Get cracking. Remember to go up to the top and rename it so you can keep track of what it is. Backspace, and this will be get cracking. So once again, friends, there is a ton of room for you to play, adjust, and make these awesome. If you do make something awesome, please take time to share a screenshot with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. Of course, you can also reach out at the hlmodtech.com website using the messaging and find all of the lessons in a nice, nifty location. Lastly, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.